hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be making this easy cheesy buffalo chicken dip this will have everyone coming back for seconds at any game day party so keep on watching So first you wanna go ahead and grab a rotisserie chicken from any grocery store of your choice. I grabbed my rotisserie chicken from Publix because I think Publix has the best rotisserie chicken. Are you with someone else in the comments, not me. I also picked up a lemon pepper flavor because I think that would add some extra flavor to my buffalo chicken dip. You can pick up the original as well. I'm also using the whole chicken. I know some people prefer using the breast only, but we're not saving any leftovers, we're getting down to the bone. And once my chicken is off the bone, we throw away the bone and the skin, and we're gonna chop the chicken into chunks. I prefer my buffalo chicken dip chunkier, so if you prefer it creamier, you can add it, the chicken to a food processor, or you can also shred the chicken with a fork if you prefer it shredded. Once my chicken is nicely chopped, I preheat, a pot and melt a half stick of butter in it. Once that half stick of butter is melted, I went in with some green onions. This is gonna add some flavor to our buffalo chicken dip. We're gonna saute that for one to two minutes, then add our chicken. Once your chicken is added, I go in with eight ounce of cream cheese. I use 16 ounce, this is the first half of my cream cheese. And then for flavor, I add some chicken bouillon, garlic powder, onion powder, some black pepper, and some salt. We're gonna go in with a spatula and break that cream cheese apart, and we're gonna combine the cream cheese and the seasonings with our chicken. You wanna combine that until the cream cheese is nicely melted and our chicken starts to get creamy. Once that's nicely melted, we're gonna go in with our second half of our cream cheese, which is our next block. We're gonna combine that just as how we did the first time with the spatula and the chicken. And just to know when it's melted, the chicken is gonna be nice and creamy just like this. Once it's nice and creamy, I added my ranch dressing. You can use buttermilk ranch, whatever ranch you like. And then I added my buffalo sauce. The buffalo sauce is all up to you. It's preference, anything works. You can add hot buffalo, my buffalo, whatever you like. You're gonna combine that with the ranch, and once that's nicely combined, you're gonna add some cheese. I added some cheddar jack cheese. You can use sharp cheddar, whatever cheddar, or you can also use Kobe Jack. We're gonna mix that in and combine that with our chicken and ranch mixture. Once that's nicely combined, we're gonna to top it off with some more cheese. I added some cheddar jack and some mozzarella for the pull, because you know we need that pull. You can use any cheese of your liking and pop it in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes, and this is how we should look afterwards. I topped it off with some, I added some green onions for presentation, and just look at this buffalo dip. It is glowing. This buffalo dip is golden. It does not only look good, however, it packs a punch. This buffalo dip is so flavorful and cheesy. Just look at that. Just look how good that looks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you're going to try this recipe. Because stop sleeping on yourself for game day. Bring the buffalo dip out. So I'll see you in my next video. And thank you guys so much for watching.